Hey, you, do you like music? I like music. Let's talk about music. Grab your favorite pair of headphones and let's listen to this. Today's album needs absolutely no introduction. This isn't a hidden secret. This isn't a gem. This is literally just me recording a video about one of the most important albums of my lifetime. For better or worse, I think better. You may think worse. But let's shut the hell up and talk about the year 2000 and Linkin Park's debut motherfucking masterpiece, Hybrid Theory. So... As I already stated, I don't think this is a band that needs much of an introduction. I believe most people probably are aware of Linkin Park, whether they are a fan of the band or not. This album came out in the year 2000, and I remember finding out about it through a buddy of mine that I went to school with who was just like, hey, have you heard that Linkin Park band yet? And I was like, no. He was like, you should check it out. You'd probably like it. So I bought this CD blind from National Record Mart in Squirrel Hill on Forbes Avenue. It was a nice, probably fall evening, I remember. And I remember this was when the Squirrel Hill library used to have that outdoor upper patio before they like expanded the inside of the library. I understand I'm talking very specifically to people that hung out in Squirrel Hill in Pittsburgh in the late 90s slash early 2000s, but this is my fucking video and my story, so deal with it. But I remember sitting up there for the first time listening to this album on my Discman after my friend had recommended that I pick it up, and I was blown away like i had never heard anything quite like this in terms of production and songwriting and just overall technical capability because while this album really wasn't a breath of fresh air at the time over the course of history what this album did was really solidify the genre of rap rock and really just take it to a level that not really anybody was ever able to surpass afterwards. Another album that's not too dissimilar from that would be Under Oath's They're Only Chasing Safety. Wasn't groundbreaking in terms of defining the genre, but after that album came out, it was really hard for, I think, anyone else in the genre to top it. And even Linkin Park definitely never really topped hybrid theory in a lot of ways. They grew as a band and developed and changed over the course of time. But for what this album was at the time that it came out, it was just unlike anything I had ever heard. And it really opened my brain up to the potential of good songwriting, good production. Like I was just getting into starting to make beats at the time this came out. And like after this came out and they released the reanimation fucking you know remix version of this like that that album and this album really just shaped me so much in terms of like what is possible with blending the genres you know with rock music and hip-hop electronics and organic instruments and it just sounded so fucking cool so fucking fresh very familiar with everything else that was going on at the time but undoubtedly its own thing just because it wasn't afraid to be a little bit more pop forward it wasn't afraid to like lean on being more like commercially viable and it wasn't so like extreme and edgy i mean granted right at the time that i was listening to this was also the time that i would have been listening to like mindless self-indulgence for the first time and bands like cradle of filth not too long after so like my dynamic spectrum of music that i was taking in was all over the fucking place but i really appreciated this band just for being able to write good catchy fucking songs that like really i could listen to no matter who i was around like i didn't fucking have a friend at the time this album came out that wasn't into this fucking album and it was just like cool to be able to have something that everybody could connect with because you know in high school not everybody that was like into a lot of the shit that i was into and i wasn't into stuff that they were into but pretty much anytime this album came on people would be happy and it never fucking got played out this album's 21 years old now and this album still sounds as good as it did the day that it came out. I remember being into audio production, as I had already mentioned, and starting getting into recording my own music and making beats and things right around the time that this album came out. And when I was reading an article in some magazine, like a Metal Hammer or a Kerrang! or Hit Parader, I don't remember what it was, but it was one of those magazines. And they were talking about 
this album and how it was overproduced in a negative way, which really blew my mind because I thought it was so cool to hear an album that sounded like this because it was so cutting edge and so current and like the music needed to be produced the way that it was. Otherwise, this album wouldn't be possible. And it's so funny to go back and reflect on those comments now, given how rock music in general has basically become almost borderline 100% electronic music. And, uh, you know, the production on this album probably sounds very dated compared to like what rock bands are calling like a modern rock production these days you know not to like throw like an imagine dragons or 21 pilots under the bus but those are two bands that are arguably you know very modern rock popular bands and like they're they're electronic bands way more than this album ever was and you know most of the people that i knew were into this most of my friends were into this at the time i definitely knew people that weren't into it that were maybe a little bit more like the we want to listen to demi borgir and lamb of god and in flames and shit and like that's cool i totally get it you know the whole rap rock thing the whole radio thing the mtv thing wasn't for everybody but i mean like i said already this album I think has really fucking held up over the course of time. I think that it's a phenomenal piece of rock music. I think that it is critical that everyone has this in their collection. I think it's an absolutely fantastic album. One of the best albums of my lifetime. And if you've never listened to it or you haven't listened to it in a while, put it the fuck on. Enjoy it. It's great. With all that being said, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Take care of yourselves. Take care of the people around you. Peace.